So I took a trip to the Meadowlands Flea Market. They had some comic books, and I picked up, I don't know, maybe 80 comic books. Let's take a look at what I grabbed. Up next on this video from Bronzeville Comics. Oh, you are a lot of talk, you have to give me food. 
Panelologist, this is Jim from Bronzeville Comics coming to you with another video. Before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe, check out the description for links to my eBay store, my Instagram, my whatnot, and my email. Please feel free to reach out to me, which somebody from work just did. Is this important? Oh, not at all. Um, <laughs> so, um, I'm actually wearing a baseball hat in the video like so many other YouTubers, but I have hair. Um, like, how many comic book YouTubers always wear a baseball hat in their videos? There are a lot of them. Automatic Comics, Bryce Comics, Erod. Erod doesn't always wear a hat. He wears a hat quite often. Mighty Comics and Collectibles. Um, there, are, there, are, there are about half of them. Anyway, let's uh, just jump into what I grabbed. Um, this, I think, what were these? Like two dollars a piece, maybe a dollar or two dollars. I got a Superboy Zero, which is the first uh, preview of King Shark. I picked this up. Uh, I picked this up a few times recently. Justice League number five. This is uh, the classic and very short-lived fight between Batman and Guy Gardner. Um, Our Army of War 246. This is a 72 book. I have to see if this is an upgrade or not um, over what I have. It's one of those 25 centers. Millie the Model 203. That Wilkin Boy. Number 32, and I picked this up for a reason. Um, the uh, the newest Red Star in comics. I have a student whose name is Wilkin. So, um, let's uh, don't use that. Uh, why did I grab this? I guess this was a 100-pager. Superboy and Legion of Superheroes. For some reason, they're putting Lana Lang and executing Lana Lang and Ultra Boy. I love these 100-pagers, especially for the Legion, you know, these stories from the 60s that uh, were such an integral part of their history yeah these are and there's a plain old superboy reprint and there's one new story by mike grell that's cool like that fantastic four 158 um i think this does have a first appearance in it i don't remember a lot of these i have to bag and board justice league of america 97 another um bigger book this superboy this is dc 21 this isn't even superboy in title this is a dc 100 pager and it has you know the, the first um teen titans and kid eternity and i guess yeah teen titans kid eternity supergirl and the legion are all in this book so that's a great 100 pager this i pick up justice league 100 this is in yeah lower condition it's got some brittleness to it this is the first of that three-part story it culminates in my all-time favorite comic the first justice league i ever bought 102 um where they go back in time to retrieve the seven soldiers of victory and i thought this was in pretty decent shape for what it was um all-star western number seven this is, is this 1972 i don't know if i have this one no it's 71 oh that's right it's late late uh Later in the year, when you have July through December on the cover date, right there, I'm always looking backwards, uh, right there. July through December, it's 71. January through June, it's 72, for the most part. There are a couple titles that had 25 centers outside that range. Um, another Fantastic Four, cool cover. I'd grab some books that I thought were in better condition. And then, I think this was a different vendor, X-Men 5, first full Omega Red cover. And then I picked up this. It doesn't have the record with it, but I'm pretty sure it's available on YouTube. It, it would, I think it would have to be. Um, actually, I just got another copy of this. B 
Beneath the Planet of the Apes record and book. It doesn't have the record, but it's the, the comic that goes with it. Which, I think this is different artwork than Beneath the Planet of the Apes um, from 1970, that first appearance of Planet of the Apes in comics. A couple of copies. Newsstands of Flash number one, Wally West Becomes Flash. Not a 9-8. Yeah, I don't think either of these would be 9-8 candidates. Um, they're in pretty decent shape, though. Like 8-5 or 9s. Spawn 8. McFarlane homaging himself. Another Flash. 1. Superman family that I needed. Oh, that's pretty cool with Batgirl in the Justice League. Supergirl duels Cleopatra. It's one of the earlier ones. Uh, Kang Avengers book. Of course, this was bigger before Jonathan Majors got into legal trouble. And Kang was canceled. A Weird War Tales with G.I. Robot. G.I. Robot's going to be part of the... Um, G.I. Robot in the War of the Time Forgot. He wasn't in the Creature Commandos. He was in the War of the Time Forgot. That's He's going to be in Creature Commandos, which is coming out. Two copies of Heroes for Hope. This great Art Adams cover. Two copies. These are actually a little bit lower grade. Um, newsstand. Batman. Uh, I'm sorry. Detective Comics 683. This is the first appearance of the Iceberg Lounge. And this kind of redefines who the Penguin is as a character. Closer to, um, you know, what he is in the, the current TV series with Colin Farrell as opposed to what he was, you know, with Burgess Meredith and um, Trick Umbrellas and all that sort of stuff. Um, Amazing Spider-Man 405. Ben Riley cover. You always pick up an Amazing Spider-Man's for a buck. Another Creature Commandos with Medusa on the cover. That's cool. Warlord 55, first appearance of Aryan. Right. Thrilling, mystical adventure in prehistoric Atlantis. Aryan had his own title, and I just completed that run somewhat recently. ASM 374, Venom cover. Image Studios, uh, homage, swimsuit special. Who did the cover there? That's Jim Lee. Jim Lee cover. Then I picked up... From another vendor, I picked up these four books. I paid up for them. They did have stickers. Uh, Superman 320 with Solomon Grundy. Now hold off the, 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 the fourth book I got. They had crazy sticker prices on them. Um, I paid $20 for the four. Justice League number 58, which is an 80-page giant. Justice League 137, Superman versus Captain Marvel. And then this one, it's mid-grader. All-Star Comics 69, first, co-first appearance of Huntress, Helena Wayne. Then there's a guy, these were all dollar books except for this one I paid five bucks for, Preacher number one. This is in lower grade. Swamp Thing Annual 2. This is a one of those proto-Justice League Darks. Adventure Comics 430. Early Black Orchid appearance. Suicide. Uh, Secret Origins, number 14. First appearance of Rick Flagg Jr. Hawkman 11. I'll grab a Silver Age book for a buck. Flaming Carrot 25 with a TMNT appearance. This isn't the big one. There's one that I think was it 27 where McFarlane did the art. That's the big book, but I figure that's TMNT appearance. That's cool to have. Adventure Comics 312. Someone sacrifices themselves to save Lightning Lad. There's a twist. Another Alan Moore Swamp Thing. That's a Qbert cover. Pretty cool. And then Swamp Thing 49. This is one of the... Um, another kind of proto-cameo Justice League Dark kind of deal. And then I picked up this. I don't know what it's worth. I don't want to look it up. I just grabbed it because, you know, I was filling out a pile. I'm like, ah, let me see. It is in mid-grade. I don't know what it's worth. But that's what it is. 
mid grade? Is it worth? Was it worth picking up? I really have no idea. Yes, it was. <laughs> a fine copy just sold for thirty six dollars. Um, it is Sailor Moon number four. There are Sailor Moon fans out there. Another one of these Cubert Swamp Thing covers. And then I picked up a bunch of ASMs. 268 Truth Part 3 with Isaiah Bradley. Would have liked to have gotten the entire series. What is my focus here? There we go. Daredevil 232, first appearance of Nuke. That's the character, right? Man of Steel number 3, first appearance of Mockingbird. Not Mockingbird. Magpie. Justice League 190 classic Brian Boland cover. I think this was the last vendor I, I, I saw. And what did he have? $3 each, but I made a package deal because I bought like 40 something and paid like 100 bucks. So I probably paid close to 250 Justice League 23. This is the first appearance of somebody. Is the first appearance of Green Flame? I don't remember. I should know this. I'm super friends. Did I say Justice League? Lower grade, mid grade. ASM 275. I'm just going to pick up any ASM in that range. This uh, classic cover, it's a little bit beat up. i got to work on this a little bit. It is a newsstand. X-Men, Uncanny X-Men 274. And with what happened in the X-Men 97 TV series, Magneto and Rogue there. ASM 276. New X-Men 129. I believe this is the first cover appearance of Phantom X. New Avengers 35, Venomized Wolverine. Legends number one, first Amanda Waller. This one's nice, Donatello number one. That was a nice pickup. There we go. Batman Year One Part Four, Batman 407. Logan's Run number six. This has the first uh, solo Thanos story as a backup. I think this was the last issue, and they're like, oh, we need some pages to fill. What do we have in inventory? Then I got this. I thought this was really cool. I don't think I had this as a kid. It um, it was one of these. These came out in the 70s. And not sure what it reprints. Definitely some later stuff. But it's a trade of The Amazing Spider-Man with Stan Lee. It was when he was on TV. TV's greatest superstar. <laughs> I have to figure out which books they reprinted. It doesn't say. At least I can't find it readily. But that was cool. Um, then I picked up all... Well, this, this is a good one. ASM 261, Charles Vest cover... Detective Comics 577, McFarlane cover, on the Batman Year 2 storyline. There we go. This is, yep. All four issues of the Magic Limited series. That's one year of Sputin. Amazing Spider Man 267. 263, 270. Again, I have to do a lot of bagging, rebagging and boarding of these. 269, 264. I'm going to wash my hands after this. Dark Avengers 1. That was a big thing at one point. Blue Beetle number 1. Jaime Reyes' first ongoing series. Gru the Wanderer, number one. Remember they were supposed to do an animated show of Gru and Destroyer Duck, number one, was like at the top of the hot list. I don't know what happened there. New Mutants 26. This does have some water damage to it. Probably could be fine with a quick press. But this is the first appearance of Legion. Young Avengers. This is issue number 11. 
figure. I always kind of pick up Young Avengers. Buffy the Vampire Slayer number one. I'm not sure if this is the money book. Um, well, maybe uh, season eight number one. This is probably worth nothing. Do I? Let me see. I thought I had. I remember I picked up some Buffies in the past. This this isn't Buffy Buffy. No, that's not the Buffy number one. I'm not sure which which this is. They, they Dark Horse put a lot of one shots in miniseries. Uh, yeah, season eight, number one. So that is probably worth nothing. Yeah, maybe it's five ten dollar book. That's fine. Then I grabbed this Infinite Crisis five first appearance of Jaime Reyes as Blue Beetle. Once again, without a bag and board, it's a pretty decent shape, though. There we go. Shadow by Howard Chicken, number one, DC Limited Series. Batman Year One, Part Three. That's cool. Legion 294, the conclusion of the Great Darkness Saga in a newsstand. This, it's a little beat up, but you can't pass these up, especially issue number two of Spidey Super Stories with Craven the Hunter. Uh, Spider Woman number 20 with Spider Man crossover. At last, face to face with Iron Man. I think that's their first meeting. Um, so, does that. What else do we have? Oh, it does have a big water stain on that Spider Woman. I'll have to downgrade that. Yeah, it's probably worth. It's still probably about a five dollar book. That's okay. Um, Batman three seventy four. It's the thing I don't always, you know, you, at the the flea market don't always pile the books. This was the first one I got from this. It's a little bit rougher shape, but it's Justice League of America two hundred anniversary issue with this classic wraparound cover by George Perez, and. Um, that's cool. Another, another ASM, 271. Picked up a couple of copies of 52, number 11, the first uh, Kate Kane as Batwoman. Oh, this is a good one. Death in the Family. Oh, these are all... No, actually, the Kate Kane's this book, which is pretty clean. That might be CGC ready. This one... X Force 116 first appearance of Ecstatics in a newsstand. These are all uh, Street Side Anthony grabs in the final book. Not quite a 9 8. It does have some, unless I can get some of the tanning out of it. It's a Fury Firestorm 24 as an insert, the special 16 page preview newsstand of Blue Devil. So that's going to go in the spec pile. So I have to sort through these books. I haven't had the opportunity yet to organize everything. So I got to rebag and board and probably clean off a couple of these um and uh then organize them into my four s's save sell slab spec so um you know maybe coming to a whatnot sale soon or maybe they'll go into the pc we'll see or maybe they'll go into the press so i'd like to thank you all for stopping by taking a look at this video um and my little trip to the flea market if you like you can take a check out a couple of my other videos here and this is Jim saying until next time, enjoy your comics.